So let's kick off. First one up. This is from Carl. I think I saw you on the list uh, of attendees, Carl. Um, I can't quick scroll through them all, but I'm pretty sure I saw you arrive. So if you're on the call, great, welcome. Um, you're having trouble converting website visitors into showing a real interest. And your particular question was, what colors and designs are unknown for being successful? Well, um, actually, Carl, <laughs> my answer to you is, um, I don't think that colors and designs have an awful lot of impact on uh, conversion. Now, I'm not going to duck this question. I'm, I've, you'll see on the next slide, I'm going to answer it in a different way, in a way that I think is going to really help you. Um, there is a lot of study about colors and the impact they can have on people's psychology. And interestingly enough, uh, Vernon Riley, my uh, business partner, wrote an article on the blog about two years ago um, about the psychology of colors and the different type of colors to use to present sort of emotions. Um, so if you really, if you want to go onto the blog, just go onto the blog and search, uh, just search on the term colors. You'll find that blog post. That's a useful read. But I'm actually going to suggest to you, Carl, that your problem with your website is nothing to do with colors, uh, and not design from a design point of view, but maybe from a slightly different point of view. So I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of actually scraping some of your site, um, and so I'm going to give you very specific help here. But this help applies to quite a few other people who may be having the same sort of problem. That they're getting traffic to the site, but no one seems to want to engage with them. So um, I had a good look around your site. Uh, I have to say, I used to, uh, in my previous life, 12 years ago, used to be a consultant to the project manager, and I used to use products like yours. Uh, it looks a very good product. Now, your problem is, you say people aren't engaging with you. Well, this is the home page I'm showing everybody now. It's the top half of the home page, the, um, the, the above the fold that I've scraped. And I mean, my first comment to you, Carl, is how do you want people to contact you? It's not clear instantly how, how the action, the call to action you want people to take. If it's to make a phone call, then I challenge you to find your phone number above the fold here. It is there, and I'm sure you can find it because you know the website, but everyone else on the call might be struggling to find it. It's off to the, uh, it's about the middle of the screen on the left. If, if, if you look at the lady's teeth and move to the left, you'll see the phone number. Uh, and th one of the other problems with this, Carl, is, as you know, that's a rotating slideshow, and I took the screen grab on slide one, but the next slide doesn't have the phone number, so it actually disappears. So you want to make the phone number very bold if that's the way you want to connect with people. Uh, you want to make a very clear call to action. The home page is, is, is good at telling you a bit about the product, but actually, you know, what, what do you want people to do? How do they get in contact? Now, if I, when I scroll down the page, further down the home page, uh, you've got right at the bottom um, webinars, uh, which I thought was excellent. It says there we have up and coming webinars. Now, that's a great way to engage people, excellent way to engage people. Like, as you know, I use them all the time. Uh, what I honestly didn't like about yours is uh, A, it's hidden down the bottom of the page. B, anyone who wants to attend the webinar has to contact you to book themselves in. Honestly, you want to make that a button they can press and go and book themselves in um, because that's what people will want to do. Um, and you can set up a rolling Thursday webinar at 2 till 3.30. Um, I'm using GoToWebinar, and you can put reoccurring webinars in there so that when they press on that button, they will go to a screen that allows them to book the next webinar. Um, it's a really great way to engage people. Um, a company by the name of PR Web, I don't know if they still do it, but they used to do getting started with PR Web webinars. It was every Tuesday at 3 o'clock from memory. Um, and the guy on there used to do an excellent job of, of showing people the product and then at the end he'd open the lines up, take questions and he used to make sales on the call. So I'd push your webinar. I'd also um, strengthen the, the means in which people can contact you. Um, we have a, um, a couple of ways we do that on the KK Smarts website you may want to look at. One is we have a chat facility, chat uh, software. And so people can, when they're on the website, can actually type a question in and we'll answer it live there and then. Um, 
that has been a fantastic investment for us because we get people's immediate feedback we can deal with problems and issues there and then uh, allows us to engage with our, our audience almost immediately um, um, really worth you thinking about that the other thing that we introduced six months ago and I have to admit I was resistant to this and I've had to uh, eat my own words uh, we put a callback button on the website or a callback form so if somebody would like us to call them back and talk to them about our product they fill in their details they, they send that it comes through to us and we phone them up or we contact them via email um, I didn't think people use those I never use them but I was proved wrong a lot of our customers use that and we do get to talk to a lot of customers who ask us to call them back now I, I went a bit further into your website I hope you don't mind I had a, a good long look over your website and I came to the uh, page that was called um, why workbook which I felt was probably one of the pages someone would go to uh, who'd arrived at your website who didn't know a lot about your product it's the why would I want your workbook and I read your 10 reasons and you're making one of the classic mistakes your 10 reasons are features they are listing features of the product you want to turn it around and word it in benefits so for argument's sake um, let's take number two a built-in finance module that supports all processes in a project organization providing you with one system la -dee -la -dee -la. Um, yes I agree with you entirely having uh, worked in various places where we had numerous finance systems that having it all in one place was is a great feature but if you worded this along the lines of avoid the continual frustration and headaches of being unable to pull together a single financial view of your project or process uh, yeah, completely different way of saying the same thing but but the person arriving on the page is here because they've got a headache they've got a frustration they can't get to the numbers that they want to get to so word it in their their terminology Okay, I hope that's answered your question in terms of how to engage better with people who arrive at your website.